hello everybody and welcome to solid code in this series of videos we are going to code the connect4 game we are going to use node.js javascript socket.io because we are going to make a multiplayer game online and also we are going to use heroku as the hosting and p5.js as we have been doing it with uh, all the series of video games that we have done in this channel so let's start First of all, I created this uh, GitHub repository so you can track the progress that we have been doing on this uh, project. Also, here we have a Tetris a game that we did before. We are going to reuse a lot of things. Uh, also, you need Heroku to install it, so you need an account and you need uh, Node.js. So let's start. Uh, first of all, let's go here. Here, I cloned the repository into my computer. So let's open a console. First, let's type node minus v. So you can see I have this version of node. And you don't need the same version, but you need node. And also, let's start with an npm init. Search here, made a mistake. npm init minus g. Let's put connect4. So the package name is going to be connect4 version 1.0 description and connect4 game. The entry point is going to be I would like to call it server.js. That test command, let's put it like that. This is going to be the git repository. The keywords is going to be connect for web game. author is me and uh, license uh, okay so here we have our package uh, that JSON and let's first of all let's open this I'm going to open this with uh, Visual Studio Code so let me go there so let's select this folder and here we have it. Here we can see the package.json, and as you can see, our main is going to be the server.js. So I'm going to bring the server.js that I made for the Tetris project. So here we have the server.js that we used for that video. So let's let's see what it has. So we are going to need Express, the path, and the HTTP. We set the port. We create an Express app. And here we need to use the public folder in order to hold the index.html on the p5.js files. Here we set the port and create a server, and the server is going to be listening uh, to the port that uh, we are going to set. So let's start creating the public folder. So here I'm going to create a public and now it doesn't have anything and I'm going to create a new file and it's going to be the index.html and for now I'm going to bring the same content that we did in the last video so now we have the index.html here we are using the libraries of p5.js I'm going to comment this for now so I'm going to uh, comment these libraries for now because I don't need it yet actually let me comment that sketch.js also so we only have the head and a body and let's put here like uh, a paragraph saying placeholder and let's see if this works so let's open the project and let's do an npm install in order to install the dependencies that right now we don't have you know, I think only express so as you can see in the package lock we only have we don't have anything yet so let's do an npm start to see if this work so there is an error that it says that uh, module.js cannot find module express so 
that is because we need the dependencies that we have in the package.json because here we are using express so uh, let me f let me fix this so we need to go to the package.json and put some dependencies on it so we need here the dependencies of express and let's see let's do it again let's do an npm install and let's see if it works okay now it's downloaded I'm going to pause the video so here we have the npm install it worked and now let's do the npm start so as you can see now the node server.js worked and the server is up and running on port 9090 so let's test that let's do a local host 9090 and we see the connect for index.html and the placeholder that we put so this is working now let's add a, now we are going to add a p5.js so we need to add p5.js in the same public folder I'm going to bring uh, those dependencies uh, you can download it here p5.js so you go here and you go to download and you can download this one this one is uh, the one that I always use I'm going to import it in my project I'm going to pause the video and uh, import it so as you can see I created the libraries folder and I put the minified version of the files that I need here so let's uh, uncomment this and just let's comment this one okay so this is going to go to libraries p5.main.js so let's see if this is going to keep working we go here okay it says it's not finding these files let's see why okay so the error was I put the mean before the word dumb and the word sound so if I go here now I won't see the error okay so it's working as expected let's create a, a simple canvas in our p5 we are now we need the sketch.js in order to create a sketch for p5 so let's put it here in public and let's create a new file and sketch.js and let's create a simple canvas so here I created a, a small sketch we have the setup function in order to run when the application is beginning and the draw function that it refresh each 60 frames per second now it's just uh, drawing a a black square of these dimensions so you can see it here so we have now we're our application so I'm going to remove this because I don't like it and right now we can start deploying this to Heroku so for Heroku you need to create an account and we're going to create uh, the project in Heroku so we will be able to see this in Heroku and in the web so for this I'm going to reutilize this uh, the applications the the instructions sorry that I did for the Tetris phone so we just need to okay sorry I'm going to I'm going to pause the server and I'm going to clean the screen and what we need to do is to first of all log in, in Heroku so we are going to use a Heroku login and you just need to log so I logged in successfully so now you just need to type Heroku create and if the node application is working as expected and it doesn't have any error this should appear and now we just need to do a push so I think it was git push Heroku and right now I only have one uh, branch which is master so it says that this fail 
it says no default language could be detected for this app so let me let me find what why is this happening okay so the problem basically was that I didn't uh, push these changes to my github repository so I needed to do that first also here you can see wait okay here you can see I added uh, git ignore file in order to do not upload all the files so let's continue and after that you just need to scale web okay let's see So you scale a web, and finally you do a Heroku open, and this should work. So this is the URL for our application, we see it here. Also if I go here to my personal apps, now I'm seeing Nameless Castle here, it's this one. So I'm going to copy this URL in the description. So right now we have our application and deployed to Heroku, so in the next videos we are going to continue with the development of the actual game. Thanks for watching and please stay tuned to this series and watch all of my other videos. Thanks.